This morning on The Dish, husband and wife team Genevieve Gurgis and Ori Menasha. They first opened the hit Italian restaurant Bestia, then turned back to their roots with a Middle Eastern spot Bavel, which was named Best Restaurant in Los Angeles in 2019. Two tries, two hits, and two people who seem to have found a magic together, building a family and a food empire. We first tried profiling Ori Menasha and Genevieve Gurgis early last year, but their story was put on the back burner by the pandemic. Their Italian restaurant, Bestia, opened in 2012 and became an almost immediate hit in downtown Los Angeles's burgeoning arts district as customers flocked to its dark and moody look, shareable plates, and trendy vibe. Six years later, Gurgis and Menasha swung in an entirely different direction with Bavel, an airy and sun-soaked mecca for Middle Eastern cuisine, which is where we found husband and wife when we returned to pick up our story. Do you feel more comfortable now doing Middle Eastern food or Italian food? I feel the same about both. I bounce between two restaurants. It took a while to get that down. Oh, for sure. It's uh, being obsessive and... Uh, Trying to figure out how to create a food that is in flavor, very traditional, but then execute it in a more elevated way. And Genevieve, is it news to you that he's obsessive? <laughs> That's like the best word to describe him ever. <laughs> yeah, I think I need to be obsessive to perfect something. To her, it comes very naturally. She doesn't need to be as obsessive. <laughs> and it comes okay. to her naturally and she's able to do it so well. We're channeling our obsessions. He's scoring points right now. <laughs> <laughs> Bevel is the Hebrew word for Babel, harking back to the origin myth that explains why people speak different languages. Gurgis and Menashe were both born in the Los Angeles area, though Menashe spent his formative years in Israel and traveled extensively in South America. They met cooking together in an LA kitchen. As a team, he does the appetizers and entrees. She's in charge of the desserts. They've strived to create something that celebrates the universal language of food. I think that people put a lot of emphasis on borders all the time, as if that is what's going to define a cuisine, is it has to be within this border. But borders throughout history have changed so much. It's more about reaching over and saying, well, that looks amazing. What you're doing is amazing. I want to incorporate that into the, how I cook. So yeah, it's definitely important. Yeah, and borders is what, uh, you know, gets people to be apart from each other. And we yeah. want to bring everyone together at the dining room table. In the middle of Bevel, they unveiled for us a bit of what made the Los Angeles Times name this the best restaurant in L.A. in 2019. Olives marinated in cinnamon and citrus served with sheep's milk feta. Oyster mushroom kebabs with a lavage and avocado puree. Slow roasted lamb neck shawarma. Harissa marinated grilled prawns. And a collection of dips to go with the pita that Menasha has become famous for. It's delicious. And I think that bread for this cuisine is probably the most important component. You eat with your hands and that becomes the vessel that, that you're basically feeding yourself with. This bread, like, it floats on air. I agree. Right? I agree. To complement the restaurant, Menasha and Gurgis just released a gorgeous new cookbook, which celebrates their modern obsession with ancient food. A love letter to family, including their daughter, Saffron, and flavor profiles of the Middle East. Though, like the restaurant, it truly has more of a global feel. I remember loving this last time, and if it's possible, it's even better now because the sauces are a little different from, and that's, that's the obsessiveness. I was like, say, oh, this is, this and is. Hence. <laughs> you get inspiration from all over the place, all your travels. Mm -hmm. You get more inspiration, I think, from, from going to Mexico than you do from going to the Middle East. I think the idea is not to get influenced by flavors. It's more like, for me, getting influenced by techniques. This avocado cream is like a dance party in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that's so that good. again, that's uh, like <laughs> Mexico City right there. Yeah, it is. As a base. Yeah. But it has cardamom in there and sumac, so it has that Middle Eastern flair to all of it. You're saving something special here for the end of our meal. <laughs> yes. So I'm going to bring some desserts for you to try. 
Not one to be outdone, Gurgis rolled out for the end of this dish segment three spectacular selections. I would suggest wow. starting with the most meltiest to the second meltiest <laughs> okay. to the most stable. Okay. Blood orange and orange blossom granita made with yogurt sorbet, raw almond praline, and pomegranate syrup. It's like I'm eating a garden for dessert, kind of, right? I mean, that's how good it is. Really good. A strawberry and sumac sweet cheese pastry with pistachio ice cream and sheep's milk ricotta. Incredible. That one's my go-to for breakfast with coffee. It's so a great good. breakfast. Yes. And finally, apple prune cake in a date toffee sauce and creme fraiche whipped cream. What do you want this place and this food to leave people with? During this whole pandemic, a universal thing that everyone learned, regardless of their experiences, is to enjoy each day. You don't know what's going to happen. You don't know if you're going to be in lockdown. You don't know what, where your health is going to go. And I really want people to come here and not think about what's going on out there and have a, a little mini vacation here. I want them to really just have a really good time and enjoy the food and enjoy the company they're with. That's what I really want. Delicious. One takeaway here, ice cream is great for dessert. So are the Nebuchadnezzar drinks, which are right in front of us right here. Nebuchadnezzar. Okay. Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuch 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 Nebuchadnezzar. 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 They, they, it was a Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar. Yeah. Uh, so it's bourbon, blue plum brandy, smoked ice, and grapefruits. This is, Love this, it. is this is their take on okay. the old fashioned. Okay, cheers to that cheers. and cheers, cheers. To, cheers. to you ice and cream to, for breakfast. To Ori and Genevieve. Mm -hmm. I was looking at that pistachio ice cream thing. So this bourbon is infused with lamb fat. Ooh. Tasty, right? Lamb fat? Ah. Lamb fat. Oh, gee, thanks for telling me now.